Hey guys, it's Anne over at Plan Obsessed. And today we're going to take a look in on the African night crawlers. And as you can also tell, we have been feeding pumpkin. Which, even if the pumpkins have been frozen, will still germinate, apparently. So we're going to take a look in what I figure has to be the feeding zone at this end, because that is where all the seeds are germinating. So, let's uh, pull all these seedlings out and see what we've got if everybody is staying in the feeding zone. Still a little bit of pumpkin left. We are going for serious overfeeding just so they will stay. And um, I don't know if I think they're 100% staying, but there's still pumpkin left, which is better than what was last time. Let's take a look in the rest of the bin and see what the population of the worms is there. Well, it looks like they're still pretty much throughout, although this end is quite a bit drier. So that, that is making some progress. Yeah, still seeing quite a bit. Even if I flip the whole thing, I am still getting a lot of worms down at this end. So our migration is, or this end of the bin is not depleted enough that the migration is having great success. Because the goal was to keep the food at that end so that they would stay at that end. So when I get the Burmy bag set up, then all I would have to do is grab the worms out of this end. So we're not there yet. But that's okay, I don't have the stand uh, built or anything. It did come in. Uh, so it did come in, came in intact, everything looks good. I just, uh, I'll do the unboxing when I get the stand built. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and keep everything still down at this end. It's nice and wet. Put the seedlings down there. Grab some pumpkin. And then cover them back up again with any related food that's been in the bin previously. Might as well get that worked on as well. So cover them guys up. And move on to the next bin. Okay, let's do this in reverse order. Let's look at the end that's not supposed to be finished and see what we've got over here. Pick out some of the food items that don't belong in an area that's not the feeding zone. Yeah, these uh, nylon, I don't think they're nylon, I think they're natural fiber uh, tea bags from Divana, but boy, they've been in there for more than a year. This bin looks a little farther along. I don't know if it's because it's a little drier or what the story is, but I'm not seeing near the amount of worms at this end as I was with the center bin there. So all is not lost. Getting into the middle a little bit. Okay, so let's grab up those seedlings. Keep them in a tidy little pile over here. And then let's see if we can find a worm ball. Still feeling lots of squishiness. So not really ready to call that a worm ball, but I do believe that they are staying in a gr greater com concentration at this end. So there we go. Um, not exactly a worm ball, but it will have to do. Okay, so I'll collect up the food and 
then we'll make a good little home over here for whatever is left over, including the sprouts. This is uh, avocado pits. You can see it's definitely being worked on. They probably take six months if they don't want to grow an avocado tree like this one. This one wants to grow a tree. Um, I have quite a few avocado trees going already, but even I am starting to say, okay, I think I have enough avocado trees, worms, please just eat the pits. That would be great. All right, well, let's see, got all that down there. Okay, that's the bottom of the pumpkin. It's not really cutting very nicely for me. There we go. Make sure they get a good feeding because this room is so much warmer this year than it was in past years. I think they have continued to eat just like it is uh, summertime. So they are going through this pumpkin very quickly. All right, Let's see if we've got any more food scraps we need to put to this end. And then we will move on to African Nightcrawler bin number three. All right, so over here, this bin has had its lid off um, for a while. I was trying to, this one was really wet, so I left the lid off completely. Um, there's my little tiny fig. My fig tree didn't get mature enough to make real figs, but made figlets that did not survive the frost. So we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to take all the top stuff that's not finished, put it down to that end, see how the worms are doing over here. Uh, again, we're still seeing a decent population of worms. So there is a, this bin's not really that old. So, you know, there's probably quite a bit of stuff here to eat still. Hopefully by the time I get all of the stand put together for the Fermi Bag Mini Mammoth, uh, the worms will have moved nicely. Because I'm still seeing quite a few over here. Alright, let's grab up the sprouts. Looks like they're still. Oh, it's a pretty decent one ball ish. Right, well, I'm going to slide this back without disrupting the worm ball too much. But even though it's only been a week, they have eaten almost everything but the skin on the pumpkin. Uh, also, hot pepper. Worm living on a hot pepper. Okay, so let's get them some food. And it was pretty disintegrated, so even though it looks like I'm giving them more, it's thinner because all the water's been leached out of it from freezing and thawing so many times outside. I'm just going to get everything back here to get them hopefully moving in the right direction by the time I get that stand done, which I'm hoping is in the next couple of weeks. So I'm going to just keep feeding these guys uh, things to keep them at that end and we will keep an eye on them, you and me, and then we'll be very quickly ready for the Vermi Bag Mini Mammoth. Alright guys, well if you like the video give me a muddy thumbs up and if you're not already a member of my worm family click that subscribe button and if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that little bell icon. 
Alright guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody, have a good day.